nice to meet you. Um, were you waiting here very long? I'm really sorry. I, I have a tendency to run late. I know it's not my best quality, but I did my best. <laughs> I guess, um, that's just who I am. Anyway, um, how are you? Oh, don't be shy. I'm a little bit nervous too, but that's okay. It's normal, right? So, um, I'm really happy that you invited me here. I've never eaten here before, but, um, you've been here before? What are some of your favorite things to get? Hmm. I think I'm in the mood for some sort of like pasta or something like that. I'm really hungry. <laughs> yeah, I knew, since I knew I was coming here, I didn't really eat, eat very much today. Because, yeah, I heard about the menu here, and it's very rich, and so yeah, I wanted to save my hunger for tonight. <laughs> um, so tell me something about yourself. What are some of your favorite things to do? So cool. That's really interesting. I would love it if if you can teach me some things about that. You what? That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, me? Well, I, there's a lot of things that I love doing. Um, most of my favorite things to do is art, of all different types of art. Um, I really love making, um, music. Music is one of my favorite things to do. And, um, I also really love drawing, painting, making videos, um, yeah. There's a lot more things that I like doing, um, but I, may, I mainly love doing art, art things. Um, oh, so another thing that I'm really passionate about is, um, going hiking. Yeah. Um, I love being out in nature. One of my favorite things is when I'm out and I've been hiking for a long time, just wandering through the forest, and, um, I'm tired, and then the sun starts to set, and the sky changes colors, and it's full of the most beautiful and vivid colors. That makes me really happy. I love I love watching the sunset after a long day of hiking. Do you like the outdoors? I feel like it's naturally built built in us as humans to just enjoy being outside. Something about the fresh air and the beauty of nature is just captivating and it's hard to not enjoy it, you know? <laughs> I mean, some people make excuses like they don't like 
bugs or things like that, but it's so easy to get past those little things and just enjoy yourself. It's, there's nothing else like it. <laughs> what do you think you're gonna order? I'm still not sure. I guess I haven't really looked through the menu enough. Wow, this is a really nice menu. from and I'm super indecisive. <laughs> mm. Well, I'm actually craving something really fresh, so I think I'm going to start with like a salad of some sort. And then um and then I'm going to do the pasta. I don't really know which one to do. Which one, do you which one did you say you recommended? Okay, I'm gonna trust you on that one. If I don't like it, it's your fault. You have to eat it. Just kidding. I probably will like it. Especially if you recommended it to me. <laughs> so what did you do today? Sounds really nice. Oh, so there's this. Okay, there's something that I've I've been wanting to try, um, that's becoming really popular lately. Okay, so ha have you ever watched Stranger Things? Um, do you know when Eleven is in the the sensory deprivation tank? Well, there's like there's a place around here that um. You can go to the float tanks and have sensory depriva deprivation, and I've been wanting to try it so badly. Is that something you would want to, like, I don't know, are you interested in trying that with me? <laughs> it just seems really strange and interesting, and I sort of just want to experience it at least once. There's never a moment where you just don't feel anything, I guess. Yeah, I just... I love the whole idea of it. It just sounds really awesome. <laughs> oh, there's also something I wanted to check out around here as well, and it's, um, I think it's called a salt cave and you go inside and you just like meditate and I guess the being around this salt is really really healthy um, and breathing in the air it, it's sort of the same as salt lamps but on a larger scale but I'm interested in going to a salt cave <laughs> sounds really cool um, Sorry if I'm talking so much. Tell me more about yourself. I tend to ramble sometimes. I'm just cut me off if I'm talking too much. I want to hear what you have to say too.
you're so interesting. I'm really happy to be here with you. I didn't, I didn't realize how beautiful your eyes were. You, you have really beautiful eyes. Yeah, they're, they're pretty unique looking. Have you watched any good films or read any good books lately? I'm starting to get in more into films lately than ever before. It's something I've been meaning to get into, but I sort of have a short attention span, so I tend to just watch like sh short films. I really like short films, but I want to get into longer ones and want to get back into reading books because when I was a kid, I always read like really, really large books uh, all the way through I was a teenager as well and then the past few years I sort of fell off the wagon of reading and that's not something I'm happy about <laughs> so I want to get back into reading books and I want to start watching some cool films so yeah, sorry I just cut you off but I, um, yeah, have you, ha do you have any recommendations for me or is there anything you would want to like uh, watch together or something that you've read already, then we can talk about it after I finish. You're gonna have to text me this later because I'm probably gonna forget the, the titles if I don't write it down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, oh, my favorite, my favorite musicians? Uh, <laughs> that's such a tough choice. I mean, there's, uh, listening to music is one of my passions and like finding different music is something that has always gotten me through life, basically. Um, there, um, I'm basically open to Every genre, every genre, I can probably find something I like in there, but my favorites right now, um, my, or my all-time favorites? Okay, my all-time favorites? Uh, okay, so, um, Coco Rosie and Bjork, and, um, Basically anything Tom York is associated with, so like Radiohead and Adams for Peace and his solo project, uh, Tom, Tom York, it's for, oh, just amazing, and um, oh, I really love the band Warpaint, they're, um, oh, they're just so beautiful and amazing, um, I don't know, there's so much, there's so much music that I like, <laughs> it's hard to just, should I like make you a, a mixtape or something, or is that cheesy? <laughs> I, I would be happy to make you a mixtape because when I'm on the spot, I sort of forget um, some of my favorite things. Then I'm like later on, I'm like, oh, I wish I mentioned that. Mm -hmm. It's too late. So I'm gonna work on a mixtape for you, or like a do you use Spotify? Because I can make a Spotify playlist. Um, I like making those. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send you a Spotify link so you can see what I listen to. I'm really happy you're into music too. Cool. What are some of your favorite bands and artists and musicians? What do you refer to them as? I always say artists, but I feel like that could get confusing because art is so vague of a word because there's so many different mediums, but I guess musician. Musician. I don't know, I still like using the word artist. Music, musical artist? I'm rambling. <laughs> Who are some of your favorites? Mm, I love them. <laughs> That's so 
cool. Hmm. I've never heard of that. You'll have to show me. What, uh, what do they sound like? sounds really interesting. That actually sounds like something I would listen to. Yeah, you'll have to show me. <laughs> cool. I think, um... I think the waitress is finally coming to take our order. Yes. <laughs> I guess this was our fault for not having a reservation. <laughs> Next time we'll have to make a reservation so that we don't have to wait this long. But I enjoyed talking to you anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I'm so excited to eat. 